Now let's gather some other pieces that we can use to kind of finish out our game res geometry. So again, with the geometry that you've created in your initial course, you should have a belt in here. And so this is the one that I'm talking about, this piece right here. And so what we can do here is the same thing that we did with the cowl. That is, I want to smooth it so that I don't get the, the chunky look to it. And then I can go back in and delete some of the edges and give it a little bit less resolution in some of those areas. So first I'm going to start to collect some of these things and I've just got them in a, a closed base group. So wherever you have those, or if you're using this project file, I can do the same thing. I'm just going to hit shift P to drop it out. And then I'm going to select all of the other belt pieces that I have. So the belt buckle here, and then you can see this front piece was created only in ZBrush. There wasn't any low res piece and we brought it back in as the high res. And so I'm actually going to make a copy of this. So I'll create that, make a duplicate and drop that duplicate out. And then I'm going to remove it from that group, turn back on referencing. And so now I'm left with this. So I've got the belt, the buckle, the buckle high. And then there's also a back piece that you may have. I'm going to drop that out as well. All right. So now I'm going to turn off this high resolution for a minute. And let's also turn off our base. All right. So now I'm going to take the belt here. Let's go ahead and smooth it. And I'll just smooth it one division. You can see it gives us a much nicer flow. Now we don't need all of these lines in here. So I can start to go in and delete those like that. And then any of these lines in here, usually I'll go in and see if it's not affecting the shape, I figure it's good to delete. So I can go ahead and get rid of it there. Okay. So something like that you can do the same thing on the back. Just going to smooth this and then go back in and I can get rid of a lot of these edges, something like that. And if it was a bit higher res, you might, you could go in and you could spend a little bit more time, but, uh, it's not actually that high res. Now this piece, we've got the belt. These piece, these uh, these objects will already work for this. This piece though is a bit too high res. And so what I want to do is go to mesh and remesh and retopologize are two features that have been kind of standardized into the Maya interface. They've existed a little bit longer, but they're actually in the interface now with uh, 2020. And so I'm going to do a quick uh, remesh and I'm going to just use the default settings. Okay. And then I'm going to do a retopo and let's also just do default settings and see what that gives us. So you can see that decreased things quite a lot. If you wanted to go in and do it maybe at 500, you can see you can lower it down even more. We could also manually come in and tweak this. So for instance, you can grab this edge and delete it. Let me actually delete the history on this. And we could do the same thing in here. We could kind of do some manual retopo on these. Same thing kind of in here. You get rid of edges like that. And then in any of these areas where there are these kind of straight areas, you could do like every other one, something like that. And make sure we don't have anything else selected there. Still want to keep the kind of clean edge flow and something like that. And so we can really very quickly start to clean that up. We'll do kind of one side here. Let's do this side. Again, I'll try to avoid, maybe avoid that one. Try to avoid where there's a curve there maybe, because in those areas you are gonna see it's gonna become sharper, but in areas that's you know pretty straight shot, you can very quickly and easily get rid of some of those edges without changing the shape. So maybe something like that, maybe something like that. Again, you can come in and start to get rid of some of these edges. In this case, it created kind of a spiral. So you could try it and see what you get, but um, you could also kind of redraw this line so that you don't have that issue and then you could get rid of the whole front of it. So for instance, here we could manually get rid of that. Go ahead and get rid of that one. And let's, uh, let's, Go ahead and isolate this for a second. And then we do want to do the same thing on the other side. So we can get rid of that edge. And this one, 
So now we've got that. Now we all, all we have to do is come in with our multi cut and we could draw across like that, maybe like that. So there are different, definitely ways that we can start to come in here and, and, uh, clean this up. This edge isn't really doing too much either. And so we could, you know, get it down pretty low. All right. So now we've got our belt. We could go ahead and group that together if we wanted to. So belt, buckle, and wood. And I've just got a creature game group going here. Um, so I could just call this something like belt group. I'm just grabbing what I need from out of this raw geometry that I used to create the initial model. All right. So the next things that we're going to pull out of there are going to be the pads. The pads we didn't do anything with. Uh, when we created those, we didn't actually need to sculpt them. And so when we built those in course one, we can actually use those as the low res. We may need to smooth them and then go back in and reduce just because of the silhouette. And so we'll take a look at that next.